equations. We will be using inverse tree functions to do some of these, but we're not going to always be solving them in the range of our inverse tree functions. Because, basically that's all we do. We're going to solve trig equations. Some of them will be easy. You'll be able to look at it and go, oh, I know the answer to that one. Some of them will not be quite so easy. You're going to actually have to do some work. So let's start with an easy one. But here's the thing you've got to notice. It tells you where your answers must be. The answers to this equation must, you get, must get all of them that are in between 0 and 2 pi. Well, how many places between 0 and 2 pi, that's one time around the circle in the positive direction, will you find a sign value of negative square root of 3 over 2? You'll find it twice. Where will they be? Not, you don't have to be specific. Let's say which quadrants will they be in? Three four. Quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So this is why I'm really glad that the inverse trig part of the test was yesterday. For most of you, some of you it was the day before. Because this might confuse things when we do that. So, where? This is an easy one. How many of you can tell me what the, where these are? How many of you have no clue where they are and want to go through step by step and figure this out? Just for fun? Okay. So, let's solve this equation. Sine of t is equal to the negative square root of 3 over 2. Is it the right one? Yes, I did. How would you suggest I solve this? If this said 2t was equal to the negative square root of 3 over 2, what would you do? If this said 2t is equal to the negative square root of 3 over 2, what would you do to solve it? You'd divide by 2. You'd do the inverse of multiplying, right? You'd divide. All right, then. This doesn't say 2t. This says sine of t. Sine is a function, just like multiplying is a function. How do I undo what is the inverse of this function? No. T is going to equal the arc sine or the sine inverse of the negative square root of 3 over 2. Really? This is only a step. This is not the final answer. Not the answer. This is only a step in the process. By the way, this is an answer to that equation. Here's my question. Is it between 0 and 2 pi? No, where is this? It's negative. It's in quadrant 4 negatively. And so it's not between 0 and 2 pi. I need this same thing to be in quadrant 4 positively. How can I get it there? They're the same place. Add 2 pi. So I can find an angle that's just like this one by adding 2 pi and just keep working my way around, right? So one answer will be 2 pi plus the arc sign of negative square root of 3 over 2. That's the answer. Which quadrant is that answer? Same quadrant four, right? Yes. I think we burned you out on the test. Nobody's brains are working anymore. That's going to be in quadrant four. We need to have that also be in quadrant three. Suggestions for how to get that into quadrant three? Because we need the same relative position in quadrant three. Because he told me I have another one of these in quadrant three. Any suggestions for how to get there? Um, no, that would get me into quadrant two. Pi away from quadrant four is going to be in quadrant two. So that's not going to do it. <coughs> that's also going to get me in quadrant two. Uh, pi over, two pi over three. No. No, I don't think that's going to work either. Something with the reference angle is going to help. Because the reference angle for this will be the same reference angle as the one for my 
my thing in quadrant three, right? Let's draw my little quadrants here. Sometimes it helps to see a picture of this. So let's see. I'm looking at an angle that is, whose arc sine is negative square root of three over two. So it's about right here, say. I had a circle. So I went this way and got there. That's what this number is. This answer was going there this way. So that's the part that's not the answer. This was this piece right here. This is that piece right there. Like all the lines. What is this reference angle? How do I find that? Would this be easier if we had a number for the arc side of negative square root of 3 over 2? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes? Anybody know that number? Everybody like that one? 5 pi over 3? Okay, so this turns out to be 5 pi over 3. Because this answer right here was negative pi over 3, so when I add 2 pi to it, I end up at 5 pi over 3. So right here, I'm at 5 pi over 3. So what's the reference angle here? How do I find reference angles in quadrant 4? 2 pi minus the angle, so the reference angle is equal to 2 pi minus 5 pi over 3, which is going to be pi over 3. Now, let's say I wanted to put that same reference angle over here. How did I find reference angles in quadrant 3? Angle minus pi. So, reference angle is pi over 3. That's equal to my angle minus pi. What can I do to find my angle? Add pi to both sides, so I'll get 4 pi over 3 is equal to my angle. By the way, I personally consider this the hard way to do this problem. How many of you could have spit out 4 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 sooner or later as the answers to these questions, this question? If you could have, that's kind of what I expect you to do. You should know your unit circle, and this is basically one time around your unit circle and a, and a number you should recognize as being one of the angles we know. So I would not expect <coughs> all of this work for a problem like this. But since you guys all looked at me like I have no idea where we are, we wanted to work through this. Now this kind of work will happen only in problems where we don't know where we are and what's going on. So, what are our two answers to this problem? No, nope. 4 pi over 3 is one of them. What's the other one? So, 5 pi over 3. Those are the two answers for this problem. That's the angle in quadrant 3 and the angle in quadrant 4 that has a sine value of negative square root of 3 over 2. Now, there are a whole bunch of others, aren't there? Just not in quadrant 3, just not between 0 and 2 pi. There's a whole bunch more. Yes? Sometimes you can be asked to find all of them. You will be happy to know that I do not expect you to answer that question, finding all of them. But essentially the way that you do that is you say, oh, well I can find all of the angles like this by adding multiples of 2 pi. So if I add 2 pi, I'll get another one. If I add 2 2 pi's, I'll get a third one. If I add 3 2 pi's, I'll get another one. If I subtract a 2 pi, I'll get one, and so on and so forth. The way you write that is you would write your angle plus 2 times n, where n is an integer, times pi. Now the only reason I'm telling you this is, in your homework there are 17 problems, I believe. Let me check. Yes, 17 problems. Starting with problem... 14. You are being asked to find all solutions, not just the ones between 0 and 2 pi. Up 1 through 13, you only find them between 0 and 2 pi. Those are the ones you're required to do, problems 1 through 13. Problems 14 through 17, if you do them, will be extra. 